a hole again. Yeah, it is so beautiful. It looks like us, but our heads are big and awesome. A toast to another 30 years of magic and mystery. Dante and Phil, the hottest new magicians in Vegas. Yeah, just a splash. Guys, you're gonna have to clear out. We're having a grown-up party. Will there be wife swapping? Ludes, keys, and a hat? <laughs> no. Those days are over. What are you doing? Tonight's the first night of Bill Murray Week on USA Network. All the guys are coming over. Oh, but it's our night off. I, I thought we were gonna spend it together. Well, I guess I can watch the movie with you guys. Oh, good. Unless you don't want me to. Oh, it'd be fun to have a sophisticated, intelligent person here, not laughing, wanting to meet me in the kitchen from time to time that remind me that excessive drinking at my age isn't funny but sad. That's real nice. You know, I actually like spending time with you. You're my best friend. And you're my best friend. But, Kate, I can't be your whole universe. You should find your own passions. I love Bill Murray. What do you love, Kate? What flips your lid? Okay, I get it. You know what? Maybe it'll be good for me to get out and explore something new. Sounds good. You make it, I'll eat it. Boom, chugga, lugga, lugga, boom, chugga, lugga, lugga, boom. Hey, Yo, guys. Over here. There me. Did somebody order morons? They're here. Who's the fagler wearing all that cologne? We must go check out this Dante and Phil. But how will it look if Siegfried and Roy are seen at the performance of other magicians? You're right. We shall go incognito. Welcome to Las Vegas, America's entertainment capital. So where to? The Fandango Hotel, please. Boy, Jerry, it sure was great of our boss to send us out here to the big uh, business convention. Yeah, here, hold my wedding ring. International waters. <laughs> <laughs> Look, an ad for Dante and Finn. Magic. Like madness. Woven. Dante and Phil. It's so strange. No one will like it. Yeah, people come to Las Vegas to get away from wolves. You talking about Dante and Phil? I had a wife and I loved it. They transformed into werewolves. Real mysterious. Oh, really? Tell me, how do you feel about, oh, I don't know. Sigfrey and Oi! Ah, they're great. I've seen their show like 12 times. Only 12 times? So, you are saying they are horrible? You've grown tired of the spectacle? Animatronic robot dragons bore you? This is a disaster. Yeah, Dante and Phil's story is so mysterious. How can we compete with Wolven men? I know, the story of our meeting on a cruise ship is so generic. You, a young illusionist, and me, a streetwise cabin boy with a stolen cheetah in his gym bag. Take us back to the Mirage. I need to ponder this among my 42 white tigers. I mean... Our district manager is going to rip us a new one. Yeah. How about Johnson's new secretary? She is rocktastic. <laughs> okay, you're gonna love this women's group. I don't know, Foolin. This is my big night out without Larry. I want to raise the roof, get jiggy with it, do the wild thing. Why are you talking like a black man from 1991? Come on, all the women do in these groups is rail on men. Just try to keep an open mind. The leader is really inspiring. She makes that fat low Dr. Phil look like a fraud. Grab a cushion, ladies. If you get thirsty, there's some iced chai in the fridge. Hey, everyone. You know Kate. The, the goddess, goddess within me greets, greets the, the goddess, goddess within, within you. you. I like men. Shh. Anyway, I think we were talking about how many women are unhappy with their role in modern society. Tell me, why do we feel unfulfilled? Because we're bad and ugly and nobody loves us? No, because we allow men to dictate our sense of self. We have to take responsibility for our lives as well as our orgasms. As long as I have this, I don't need a man. Story of my life. Society allows us to be whoever we want to be, but only after we've met our man's every need. That's just like Kate and her husband. Foolin, stop it. It's okay, honey. You're safe here. Tell them how your whole life is a lie, how you wish you were dead. No, things are wonderful at my house. Ladies, lighten up. Let's down a pitcher of mojitos and climb on the groove train. <laughs> Denial is a natural defense, Kate. I think we'd all like to see you have a seat in the I Need Help chair. Let us be your strength. Sit on us. You guys, I'm fine. I have a life that most people would envy. Kate! If you can hear this, where's the remote? We accidentally changed the channel. 
And how long until this cheese goes bad? Because I took a chance and ate it. Anyway, we're at threat level orange on this remote situation. <sighs> I need you! Come on, come and on. And now, Lifetime presents Christine Lottie in A Kidney for Skylar. Oh, God! Knock, knock, Mr. Grumpy. Stop with the bumming and start with the humming. What is it? I have a plan so we will never have to worry about Dante and Phil again. I've thought about it too, but the police will trace it to us. I'm not going back to prison, not for you, not for anyone. No, it is time to create a landmark testament to the legend of us who is Siegfried and Roy. Like a pamphlet or a brochure? Bigger. Some kind of leaf behind or table tent? No, bigger. Siegfried and Roy, the movie, fantasy, experience, movie. It is the way to reinvent ourselves. Is it possible? We've been around forever. If Tony Bennett can do it with his Greg Brady perm and his old man smell, then so can we. But a movie? We know nothing about making a movie. No, but he does. Hi, guys. Holy potatoes, it's Martin Scorsese. Yes, Siegfried. To make our movie, I got the director of Raging Bull, Goodfellas, on Star Wars. Actually, I didn't direct Star Wars. That was George Lucas. <laughs> Sure it was, Mr. Modest. We have been big fans of yours ever since we saw 3PO and R2 save everyone from the trash compactor. And the detention level. Do, 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 do. Great. Listen, guys, I'm so excited about this movie. I think I got some really great ideas. Wunderbar. Before we begin, do you mind if I check you for old man smell? <laughs> He's okay, but we better move quickly. All right, boys, settle in. Billberry week, night two. Oh, yeah! My wife thinks I'm at the emergency room. Remind me to drink some bleach before I go home. Hey, guys. I'm going to my group again. Honey, that's terrific. It is. You know, it's really allowing me to find myself and my connection to the wild. Lily's helping me visualize the possibilities of my womanhood. Sounds good. You make it, I'll eat it. Now let's get this party started. We're going to watch some Bill Murray and drink some beers and have some pizza, beers and pizza. Beers and pizza. Okay, ladies. Tonight, part two of our journey to female empowerment. Sister becomes woman. Woman becomes sister. sister. Remember, in the wild, female cats are the hunters. Babies, Babies from, from our groins. Power from, from our loins. Lily, I can't do this. I'm not really the hunting type. Hmm, perhaps you'd rather be fetching boss man some coffee. But, go! It's just that... No! <laughs> Let's hear it for Kate. Woo go, yeah! Yay! And let's also hear it for Dolores the Rabbit, our guest prey for tonight's role play exercise. Role play? That's right. Dolores, come on out and take a bow. Don't be shy. Um, she said she had to take off. Oh, well. See you next week, Dolores. You're the best foster mom those blind kids could ever have. Come on, ladies, on with the hunt. Here we yeah! Are. We are goddesses. Yeah! Yay! Let's go cut off a penis. Foolin, you might need a different group. And action. Ah, Siegfried, I'm just a simple German carbon boy. I can only imagine what it must be like to travel first class. Hold on to your dreams, and one day we will, Roy. But how? We are half fish and half men. My hidden gills crave to return to our watery kingdom. Cut. Guys, where are all these new lines coming from? Half fish, half man, watery kingdom? Oh, the script was too ordinary. We need people to think we are fishmen. This is not amateur hour. We are competing with wolf people! We want the Star Wars magic. Guys, I want to tell your story. The way it really happened. Our story is boring. It's like book talk on C-SPAN boring. I don't think so. I admire what you've achieved. And when I think of all the lives you've touched, I get goosebumps. Martin, you're fired. What? We're not on the same page creatively. You're on some kind of other page which is different. Stick with what you know. Go and make your Godfather 4. Just when you're out, they pull you back in. <laughs> right? You're terrific. Thanks for coming out. Show me the money, huh? How do you do it? Okay, then. Bye-bye. <sighs> Were we right to fire Scorsese? Apart from Gangs of New York, he seems to know what he's doing. Do not be worried. I, Roy, will direct this movie. You? You've never directed a movie before. Haven't I? Haven't I? No. Why did I think I had? Who directed Braveheart? It was somebody's first movie. That Ghostbusters is a perfect movie. Although, if you ask me, Ernie Hudson carries it. 
How did Bill Murray not win Best Actor that year? Come on, that guy from Amadeus? I say, F. Murray Abraham. Come on, gals. Now breathe. Breathe! What the? That's it, ladies. Push! Push! She's crowning! Congratulations. It's a woman. Yeah. What the hell was that? Well, that was great. I feel so alive. I'm gonna run inside and get us some Red Zinger. Back in a sec. Hey, hon. Hi, you must be Kate's husband. Yeah, um, why did my wife just emerge from a pretend uterus? <laughs> I wouldn't read too much into it, Barry. Larry. Larry, good for you. Okay, I've got the tea and some scented candles. Hey, Kate, where are you going? Rebirth, huh? That's cool. Yeah. Look, you're home now, the guys are leaving. I thought we could spend a little time together. Now's not really good for me. Don't wait up. Perhaps we should form a search party. For what? Do look for your nuts! Okay, people, let's get the next shot set up. This man needs hair and makeup. I'm a cameraman. I know, but take some blush. We don't need any heels. Hi, Sick Face! Action! He will drag me to his inky lair. Surely I will drown in the briny deep. Cat! If I wanted acting like this, I would have gotten Toby Maguire. I can't do this. Look at this costume. I feel ridiculous. But you are Keldon, king of the mermen. No, I am Siegfried, a dignified man. I should be wearing reflective spandex trousers and a coat from a non-existent army. Don't be a fool. We must rewrite our story. Do you want to be made a thing of the past like woolly mammoths and mouth kissing? Hesco says it was right. And if we lose touch with who we are, it will ruin the integrity of our show. There won't be any show if we let the competition destroy us. There will always be a show. As long as we have magic and people who have lost all their money need something to do for two hours. Good luck with your movie. Good news. The old lady's going out with her woman's group again tonight. I'm free, flying solo, not a care. Wake up, man, you lost her. What are you talking about? It's just a group of gals. The group? Empowered warrior goddesses. They'll steal our testosterone and keep us in cages. Chutney, take your pill. Fine. <laughs> Crazy elephant's got a point, Lair. Your wife's out of control. Yeah, that Lily's bad news, my friend. Filling women's heads with the idea that they don't need men. Nobody needs men. They're crude and disgusting. I myself have consulted a doctor about aggressive gender reassignment. That's ridiculous. Kate needs me. We've been together for 20 years. Because you kept her in the dark. Well, now Lily is waking her up. And you don't want her awake. You want her half dead. You guys are crazy. I'm not worried about Kate. You better be. Wife's running around with the she-male man-haters club. It's an embarrassment. In my day, the man laid down the law. You don't like something, you forbid it. Thank you, Ayatollah Rafsan Johnny. You know, because Islamic fundamentalists have outdated views on women. Jeez, pick up a newspaper. So Modi's got a point there. Yeah, sure right. does. You're all crazy. Kate and I get each other in ways you guys wouldn't understand. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to spend some time with my best friend, my wife. I just had the craziest dream that I was an elephant. <laughs> Mr. Roy, I've got another actor on line one. It's Sir Ben Kingsley. Hello, Kingsley. Go. Hi, Roy. My agent said you're looking for someone to play Siegfried in a new movie. Yeah, yeah. Did you get script? It is fantastic, yes? Thank you. I'm Roy. Uh, so I'm not used to auditioning over the phone. Just describe the expression on your face while you perform. Begin. Oh, OK. You listen to me, David Copperfield. Expression? Uh, I'm squinting, and my jaw looks determined. Good. I have removed the tracking chip you put in my uh, ear. I'm sorry, Ben. But I'm looking at your headshot, and you're not the guy who played Captain Picard on Star Trek, are you? No, that was Patrick Stewart. Oh, I'm afraid this isn't going to work. That's too bad. Expression? I'm sad and a little frustrated. Good. Mom, Hunter's using your copy of Our Bodies Ourselves to discover his body himself. That's nice. Hey, hon. Painting, huh? You know what's great about us? We both love art. So, what is it? I won't know until I'm done. This painting is an expression of my innermost feelings. It's a horse. No, it's not. Sure it is. There's a saddle. There's a friendly Indian who's his best pal. I see anger with a touch of hopefulness. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, 
I thought we could spend some quiet time together. There's a great foreign movie on TV. It's about a Mexican lady with one eyebrow. Oh, sorry, I have another thing with the girls tonight. Again? That's three nights in a row. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Find your own fun. I can't be your whole universe. Well, I, I'd really rather you didn't go. Sorry, I have plans. Well, I'm telling you, you need to be here. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I'm going to my women's group. I forbid you from leaving this house. <laughs> you forbid me? Forbid me? <laughs> this is not funny. This is my house. And, and, and I make the rules. <laughs> okay. Bye, Larry. Hey, Mom's painting. <laughs> Don't worry, Larry. You did the right thing with Kate. Absolutely. Now forget about it. You're with the guys tonight. Yeah, it's great to be with the guys. Guys are fun. Guys get it. Well, well, the gang's all here. I don't have a lot of time, so moron, moron, idiot, moron, moron. You'll be happy to know I took your advice and forbid Kate from going to her group. You what? Yeah, she's out now, but... Are you nuts? You can't talk to a woman like that. But well, you said... Larry, I hate you. I'm not going to give you good advice. Well, for your information, my friends happen to think what I did made a lot of sense. And I trust their judgment. Say you like dudes. I will not. Say Johnny Depp is yummy. I just enjoy his acting. He's I want to go talk to my wife. Come on, you <sighs> I am at a dead end. There's only one actor in Hollywood with the chops to praise the role of Siegfried. Unfortunately, I cannot swallow my pride and call Ice Cube. Mr. Roy, there's one more person waiting to audition. All right, just send him in. Siegfried Fischbacher, reading for the part of Siegfried Fischbacher. Very well. Do you have the script? Yeah, but I have a question, if that is okay. Of course. It says here, I have been cryogenically frozen on the return journey from Atlantis, and I was wondering if... No, you have not been frozen. It is I who have been frozen. Frozen to the friendship most important in my life. You are Siegfried Fischbacher, a young man who has a dream of making magic, and that is more than enough. Are you sure? What about Dandy and Phil? Who cares about them? By the way, I did a rewrite. We open on two humble Germans on a cruise ship. One is a young illusionist, and the other is a steward with a cheater named Chico in his gym bag. Mr. Roy, James Brolin called. He got the script, and he's very interested in playing Siegfried. Yes! Oh. That's Lily's house right there, Larry. Thanks, buddy. By the way, if you get a weird package from Sweden, those are my hormone pills. With any luck, I'll have breasts by Christmas. I've got to get Kate back. i just got to be calm. Just keep it cool. Hello, Larry. Give me back my wife, you crazy lesbian. Larry? Kate? What is wrong with you? Ever since I told you to get a passion, you've been painting and being reborn and wearing sandals. It's not a good look for you. You got thick ankles and hairy toes. Oh, my God. Are you feeling insecure because of my group? Of course I am. I'm such an idiot. I pushed you away and forced you to realize you don't need me. Now there's no heading back. Yeah, later, sucker. Who keeps bringing her? Larry, just because I'm growing a little and finding new interests doesn't mean I love you any less. <laughs> to quote a little movie called Stripes, you're my big toe. Okay. You're my Sergeant Hulka. You're the guy who keeps me balanced and moving forward. You're, you're kind of butchering it. I still have another half hour here. You can hang out if you want. I'd like that. Okay, ladies. It's time to learn to love our special flowers. Everyone, take out your hand mirrors. Yeah, I gotta go. 